Hello everyone. Hope you're doing good. Hey Aventube, it's uh, day, I think day nine now, um, and I almost forgot to do it. Question for today is, what little things in life frustrate you? I say the little things in life that frustrate me are the like um, the things that don't seem fair, the things that or or like blatant disrespect. I try not to let it anger you because that gets you nowhere. But it sure is frustrating. But I deal with that a lot because I've got teenagers. So for me, it's um, another tough question. I've been thinking about it all day. Hi guys, uh, day nine. I'm here with Doggo. We're taking a walk down to the mountain and I wanted to show you something because this is so, it's a little bit extra, but I have to show you because I'm here. But in the meantime, uh, the question today was what drives you crazy? Like what are your little pet peeves? And I, I thought about it and all of mine really just have to do with wasting time. I hate like useless, I hate useless wastes of time. Last week. I, uh, I got up early and went down to the dentist. I fought through morning traffic and, um, and construction. And when I got there, they told me that uh, my appointment wasn't until like two days from then. And I was furious with myself. Not because I was wrong, but just because I freaking wasted the morning. See, I'm getting worked up just thinking about it. I hate wasting time. I don't get annoyed with a lot of things in general. I mean, I don't really get annoyed with anything. I don't have any particular habits or particular things that I want to get done in a particular way that would uh, annoy me if people don't do it. So I don't have a lot of those things, but the only one thing which I probably think annoys me a lot is uh, when people behave in, in I mean, when people are, tend to behave uh, very narrow-minded, when people do not, um, are not open to ideas, when people are not welcome, to the possibility of even thinking for a second, you know, to listening to another person's opinion, to even consider it for a second before discarding it, people don't even, or people are not even ready to do it. That's what make me pretty annoyed. Um, you know, it's hard to name some. Like in the winter time, or, or I really don't like people that don't know how to drive in the snow. When you live in Cleveland, that's pretty important. I do get frustrated sometimes when people don't do things the way I would want them done. But uh, I really have to have more conversations with myself to continually remind myself that there are more than a hundred ways to do things. So I always try to keep that in mind. I don't know where it came from, like a bolt from the blue this morning. I realized that everything, including myself, frustrates me at different times of the day. But what I've learned in the last year, and progressively I'm learning, is how I deal with my own internal reaction to frustration. I can, I can be the firewall, the ambassador, the border control of all of those frustrations. Those frustrations will always be there, but I can fundamentally change my relationship with them. So there's not many things that in life that frustrate me because I'm quite a calm and collective type of person, I think so, at least. Um, I think uh, my friends and family also, members also think I am. When I think of frustrations, it's usually something that I'm frustrated about myself. And when I see someone else do it, I get frustrated that, they're, they're, that they are doing it themselves. So when I think of frustrations, I think of when I'm a bit indecisive. And so when I see someone else being indecisive, I'm like, oh, just make a decision now. Um, just because I'm kind of a, quite an organized person, I have quite good organizational skills and time management skills. So when there's just something that's kind of an indecision, I'm like, ah, oh, like I'm wasting time here. Like, come on, let's just do something and, and make it work. Last year, I faced a personal crisis. And after that, I left my well-settled job. From that point of time, I'm on steam it. And now I'm in full-time steamian. So for sure, I am in the phase of uncertain, uncertainty. But I have self-belief and I know what I'm doing and I am backing myself. But in this phase, I am entering into overthinking and for sure, overthinking is not good for me and it's not good for anyone. So I'm 
really trying hard to come out of this phase because this phase is really dynamic when we have when we are facing overthinking essence for sure our productive actions move towards stagnancy i try not to let the little things frustrate me but then again i could have this answer go on and on just about the little things that you know sometimes they get on my nerves but then you kind of just gotta let it go and again with teenagers it's a lot of back talking thinking they know everything and then like five minutes later they need help cooking dinner so it's just like ah you know <laughs> i mean i don't really expect everybody to you know open up or believe or um, you know listen to everybody's opinion and take it as it comes but um, i just uh, expect people to be at least be ready to listen to somebody's hope, ideas, opinions. Think about it for a second before discarding it. When people are not ready to that, is probably the only thing that gets me annoyed. I get anxiety when it's time to go places, and like getting ready to go, and the like kind of nervousness through, like getting ready to leave. But I really don't have anything, like generally that that is like I can't stand a blanket folded a certain way or I need to ha be sitting on you know one side of my leg or anything like that I don't have that I just have other little like more general type frustrations so I mean like I waste time all the time but I want to do it on my terms you know like with video games and fun stuff not with um sitting in traffic someone uh, again I guess I guess through indecision is trying to make a point but I has a long story and I, I sometimes do that have like a really like long backstory and then not like people say just get to the point and I'm, I'm like I I'm frustrated with myself that I I add on stories I'm probably doing it right now um, I'm adding on to stories and I'm not going straight to the point so same with that in mind I'm gonna end this vlog right now um, other than that I can't really think of anything else that makes me really annoyed this 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 bit is all that really annoys me. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. So we're here on the mountain, and today is snowmaking day. Look at that! Isn't that wild? I hope it's not too loud, but we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. Dago, what is that? Doggo's checking out something important. But look! The blowing snow all over the mountain. Kind of cool, right? Uh, so for me, that's kind of the where, you know, what my, uh, my world revolves around that. So that's like front and center in my brain for this, for this question. So I'm putting my all efforts to come out of this overthinking phase by putting my time and effort into positive activities and positive thoughts and this is a daily practice for me all right <laughs> have a good one yeah that's all i got for this one it's kind of a short one but uh i'll talk to you all tomorrow whoa lost the camera i'll talk to you all tomorrow people are at different points in their journey in life i might have education on one thing you might have education on another thing at some point i'll get to it and i'll have a different dialogue with it or I'll educate myself with that information at a certain point. So I'm, I'm learning to deal with frustrations in a more measured way. And that seems to be serving me better, actually. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. I hope you can hear me. Happy day nine! Thank you so much for watching this video. Spread love and spread kindness. Stay blessed. Drifting slowly into an empty space.